taking it international for international aid packages for places like the Darfur and Sudan. About the types of, of lamps and fixtures and applications. This is the problem that, with our economy, but this also represents a solution. You know, the industry itself has been around a very long time, but it's really starting to emerge. Carbon dioxide, and methane, uh, nitrous oxide that's converted back into an equivalency of, of carbon dioxide. My name is Alan Barrich, and I'm the, I'll say, acting director of the Marine Technology Cluster for the present time. And I uh, want to say welcome to everybody, Shane and Knight. Uh, the Marine Technology Cluster, as you may know, is the uh, only technology based incubator in the Monterey County, or the Santa Cruz County for that matter, or San Benito County. So uh, we've got a lot of neat companies in the, uh, uh, in the incubator right now, doing a lot of neat things. And a lot of what we're doing is around, obviously, green technology in this day and age. And uh, so this particular tech net, we decided we'd change our format a little bit. And our friend Peter Brumas over here has put together a good panel discussion on uh, all about green stuff, basically, and what we're doing, and, and it's got some good folks. Uh, and I'm happy to say, two of the people of panelists here are actually MTC clients. Mr. Ed Bless from Blue Line Power, and Raymond Kemp, the uh, the guy, you know, he was out changing oil in his car this morning, and it changed from oil into biodiesel, and he's with KF3 Biodiesel. So, our moderator tonight is gonna be Pete Brumitz, and you notice, with my skill, with this, right? So I'm going to turn this over to Pete because he's going to use his skill with that to either, you know, keep you guys and gals in line or to uh, keep the panelists in line. So Peter, I will let Thanks, you Alan. do this. If you I'll, could, you know, I'm really trying to make you proud of this thing. I know. <laughs> what can I say? And I'll go back to pouring wine. <laughs> Well, thanks everyone for, for showing up tonight. I'm excited to have this, uh, this gathering. If we can throw one more keyword in the mix, I, want to make, I wanted to keep this as organic as possible. So, um, you know, a lot of our panel, some of which are, some of them are, I'm sure, are used to uh, ad living and, and going with the flow. Some of them prefer the PowerPoint style. I'm going to try to take them out of their comfort zone so that we really have a format that empowers you, the audience, to ask the questions that you've been looking for. or I see a lot of uh, excellent providers of information that I know from, from being in the, the green world down here in Monterey County for a little while. And if you have some information that you'd like to pitch in, please let us know. Um, we will be recording this and we'll be trying to make it available after the fact as well. If you know anyone that missed it, we'll try to put a link together where people can, can catch up and watch it. But we only have an hour here, so I'm told that the tape goes dead after an hour and, and we all want to you know, have a nice evening after, so we'll get rolling here. Uh, so I just want to introduce our panelists before we get started. Representing wind industry, we have Jeff Chigo. He's the VP of Business Development and for Mariah Power, a small wind company. Uh, representing solar energy, we have Ed Bless, one of our MTC clients, uh, based right across the hall here from Blue Line Power. Uh, representing biofuels, we have Raymond Kemp, the mad scientist in charge, who also gets the most creative title. <laughs> representing energy efficiency, we have Daniel Jones of Ecology Action, right here. And representing carbon credits, uh, and as you see, slash GHG greenhouse gases, we have Mike Zeller, and Mike's a talented guy, so he can actually, for any business, audit these guys and tell you which type of technology is best suited for your needs. So uh, before we jump in here, just a little bit about the, the flow and the rules. There are very few of them. Um, first, why do a panel like this? Uh, the first thing is to start the conversation. There's a lot of good information out there. There's some not so accurate information out there. Uh, and from, from my experience trying to find that information, I found it's difficult to, to nail down the same piece of information from different people because everyone has their different opinions. So I figured the best way to do this is to get a bunch of knowledgeable people in the same room and you know, let them go at it. Um, number two is providing information to the end users. So anyone here representing companies that utilize clean energy or are interested? A few hands out there. Um, and the third is just education for the general public. Uh, we are the voters and we pass, we 
or the way our country works, we elect the people that make the laws that give us the incentives that we want. So it's very important that the general public becomes more informed about the different technologies and, and how we can support them. So the format we're going to be using is I'm going to give everyone five minutes and at the end of five minutes I'm, I'm going to gong you if you go too long. So I'll kind of, I'll give you a little wrap it up sign if we're, if we're right there and you're getting close. If you're going way over you're getting gonged. Um, and the, after the introductions we're going to do a moderated question and answer period. So you know as people are talking or you see their titles up there now and you probably have some people have some questions prepared. Some will just come off the top of their head. Um, but please be a part of the discussion. Um, you know, we want to hear from you. We want to know what you want to know. I don't, I have plenty of questions for these guys, but that's boring. I can just call them on the phone. So um, let's keep this. And number three is I want this to be fun and entertaining. And the, no one will be cut off from their networking because we actually have a, a place to go to afterwards. We'll get discounts on, on drinks and that type of thing. So um, don't feel like your, your fun will be curtailed too soon. <laughs>